Let's talk Tanya for the 11th of year. The last two days, we've spoken about the concept of reciprocal love and how to use that in our service of God and how to use it to generate a love for God. The basic concept is that one of the elements of human nature is that when one person demonstrates a certain emotion towards another, then that emotion is automatically reciprocated. When we contemplate God's incredible love for us, the same thing is also naturally and automatically we respond with a love for God. And the example that we gave was considering Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the exodus from Egypt, the incredible love that God demonstrated for us at that time, coming down into Egypt all by himself, extracting us from that place, bringing us to Mount Sinai, giving us Torah, giving us the mitzvahs, and thereby entering into the closest of relationships with us. With this, the Alter Rebbe explains the wording of the blessing, the bracha that we make every time before we do a mitzvah. The bracha, the standard uh, wording of the blessing is, we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Malakeinu Malach Elam, Blessed are you God, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvah who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to do X, Y, Z. What is the significance of the word Kiddushanu, sanctified? He sanctified us with his commandments. What does that mean? So the Alter Rebbe is going to give us two different explanations. The first one the Alter Rebbe says is the word Kiddushanu, sanctified in the Hebrew, is related to the word Kiddushan, which means to betroth, to marry. So Asher Kiddushanu b'mitzvah can be read as he has married us with his mitzvahs. He married us through giving us the mitzvahs and every time that we do a mitzvah, that is expressing our marriage to God. What is the essence of marriage? The Alter Rebbe points to a verse in Bereshis where it talks about vidavak be'ishtoi v'hoyu lebasar echad. The essence of marriage is connecting to one spouse and becoming one entity, one flesh. When we do a mitzvah, we become one entity with God. We become absolutely united with God. Asher Kiddushanu b'mitzvah he marries us with his mitzvahs. Imagine taking a moment to think about that every time before doing a mitzvah, when we make the blessing. He has married us with his mitzvahs, and through doing a mitzvah, we become labasar echad. We become literally one with God, which leads us directly into the second understanding of the word. Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvah who has sanctified us with his commandments, he has made us holy. How holy? How holy do we become when we do a mitzvah? Well, because we become one with him, we become as holy as him. Imagine that. We become as infinitely holy as God does. We join him in his holiness when we do a mitzvah. The Alter Rebbe points to a verse that says, V'asisem is called mitzvah isai. You will do all my commandments you will be holy to your God. I am your God. What does it mean, I am your God? Isn't the God the God of everything, of all of creation? But when we daven, we know we say, Avraham, God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of the God of Jacob. And that's because even though the God is the God of God is the God of everyone. But he enjoyed a very, very special and intimate relationship with Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. To the point that we could say he was their God. This Pasuk says that when we do mitzvahs, God turns to us and says, Ani Hashem Alekechem, I am all of your God. We are just like Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. That they were a Merkava, they were a chariot to godliness and had this incredible relationship of total unity with God, when we do a mitzvah, we are experiencing that exact same unity as was experienced by Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, that unity with God. And at this moment, we are becoming, and if the Alter Rebbe wouldn't say this, how can we say these words? We are becoming as holy as God. Now thinking about that, wow, that love that God has for us, if we take a moment to contemplate that, how can we not reciprocate with an incredible love for God? Now, when we're doing a mitzvah, that's the fact. The fact is, at this moment, we have achieved, achieved absolute unity with God. 
We have achieved this incredible infinite holiness, but we don't feel it. Is that an issue? That'll be the topic of tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.